There's another vampire out there, and this one is killing people. I need your help. Henry, what's going on? It's best if you don't know. If the other vampire believes she's with me, Vicky will most certainly die. He wants my territory, and that puts everyone who's close to me in danger. Wait a second. You know who it is, don't you? Stay out of my way. She's too powerful. She. Woman behind the vampire, Christina. So the tall man is still in Boston. Yeah, I know Manhattan's divided 51st in the park, but who's got the village? Really? Now the German's still in Chicago. Who claimed Detroit? <sighs> Nobody ever claims Detroit. <sighs> Augustus, can we drop the pretense you know I'm looking for? I need to know where she's settled. Nothing more recent than that. All right, call you later. Well, it's nice to see you returning someone's calls. I'm heading out soon. Okay, so another vampire leaves a dead model on your doorstep, and you go to Mike for help, which is astounding, really. But then you turn around and you say, leave it alone, I'll handle it myself. And I'm left wandering the streets wondering what the hell is going on. Alone. At night. By myself. Under the circumstances, it's probably not a good idea. You know, I understand that you want to protect us, but this is not about just any other vampire invading your territory. It doesn't matter who it is. Now will you go? Not till you stop stonewalling me. As we both know there's only one person that could do this to you. Just admit it's Christina and we'll move on. There's no guarantee it's her. But you suspect it. Henry, people are being murdered, so this is no time for your mommy issues. I don't have issues. <laughs> yeah, and denial's just a river in Egypt. Hey. Yeah. Okay. There's something you need to see. Now it's a spree. I told you any more deaths than it was going to be on you, Henry. You listen up. I want you to use your vampire mojo, your vampire, whatever the hell it is you call it, and you get this Christina off my streets. Do you understand me? He told him. He needed to know. You just made a difficult situation even worse. Christina is out of control. On the contrary, this seals it. Christina didn't do this. Oh, Henry, come off it. This is a mask. A garish shell. You don't walk among humans undetected for 600 years by putting on lurid displays like this. Listen. Don't. Don't. I don't care. I'm not gonna let my streets turn into a vampire war zone. All right? All right. I'm leaving. Apparently, I'm the only one interested in catching the real killer. Yeah, give my best to OJ while you're at it. First, I need some information. I know exactly what you need, Trevor. There's an out-of-town photographer working with local talent. One of the girls will end up dead. You hear anything about that? I hear the photographer's in dish. Any idea where she might be found? I do run, why not Brent? No. Oh. Go now. Don't come back. Show yourself.
never been more sure of anything. The court, the privilege, that life, all of that is lost if we proceed. You must understand that. I do. And I'm ready. No. You're not. But we still have a little time yet. Official police business. Now available with Szechuan. <laughs> you just always seem to forget that he's not human. That's not true. Okay. This whole vampire attachment thing, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. They just can't be anywhere near each other. If one of them strays into the other one's territory, it's like... Like mangy, rabid dogs fighting over scraps? Yeah, that part I get. If this other vampire turns out to be Christina, what makes that different? Well, Christina and Henry were lovers. And she's the vampire that turned him. She's his ex and his vampire mommy. That's sweet. Okay, listen, Oedipal issues aside, I don't know what to tell you. It just doesn't really translate. Well, that's the point. That's my point exactly, okay? No matter how he feels about Christina, whether he loves her, he hates her, both, neither, whatever the hell it is, that makes Henry unpredictable. And an unpredictable Henry. Is a dangerous Henry, I know. Exactly. You, um, said you had some police business? All right. These photos were taken from the murder scene earlier tonight. The uniform found this brooch outside near one of the bodies. Here's where it gets interesting. The photographer snapped a few more. He caught Henry in one of them near the table. Look what happens next. The brooch is missing. Yeah, I checked the chain of evidence myself. Brooch is found, it's photographed, but not cataloged. Henry stole it. He lied to us. Christina is involved. Not only is Henry unpredictable, he is actively working against us. first met you, you lived in a palace, and now you're in a condo. It's nice to see you. This music's beautiful. I'm so glad you have records. This obsession with making everything digital. It's terrible for those of us who can hear the gaps, don't you think? You didn't come here to listen to records. And the thread count on these sheets. You always did like the best of everything. You should go. But I just got here. Every time you show up, you cause nothing but trouble. But I really need your help this time. Poor Henry. You feel it, don't you? Nerves on fire. Blood pounding. Reason just a little shaky. You can't help it. You want to tear me to pieces. But in a good way. Not at all. Liar. So, now what? You tell me. Well, I can crush your larynx, and you can crush mine. Or? A truce. Because that's worked so well in the past. Don't be that way, Henry. One. Two. Three. <clears throat> the last time I encroached on your territory, you almost killed me. That was a lifetime ago. Or two. Or three. You ran me over in a coach. Only to let you know I was serious. 
I was a little territorial, Henry. It's a woman's prerogative. Yet you waltz in here, climbing into my bed. I have left your pillows. I loved you. Oh. Past tense. Don't push it. Right. I admit, I did stray into your territory, but for good reason. Does that reason have anything to do with dead models? So fragile and so dumb, so human. You do know I didn't kill them. So who did? His name is Alexander. He's one of us. You must have felt him lurking. I felt something, but it was muddled. Three vampires sharing a single territory will do that. Alexander's followed me across the continent for over a year now, attacking whoever I come in contact with. He wants to expose me, ruin the life I've built. So you let him to me? He's completely irrational. I didn't know where else to go. But if you'd rather spend time with your current plaything, yes, I've seen her. I've been watching. There's a police detective, Salucci. He's working the model murders. He's going to want to ask you a few questions. And why would I talk to a human policeman? Because it'll make my life a lot easier. And while you're in my territory, you will play by my rules. That's fair. So if I help you take care of this Alexander, you'll leave. Your city, your life. All will go back to the way it was. No hug? If you hunt, stay north of St. Clair, east of Mount Pleasant. I'll let myself out. And you believe her? Yes, I do. Where is the common, rational Henry Fitzroy I know? I don't have to be calm. I need to find this Alexander and kill him. What is this power she has over you? The instinct tells you to hunt, to kill, to remove the threat from your territory. But just underneath that, there's the memory of love. And the ache of that love's unnatural death. I know Christina in a way that... I don't know if I can explain it. I think you did a pretty good job right there. Henry, I gotta call you back. Did they not knock in your century? I wanted to greet the competition. Sit down. You have a little thing in your throat? I'd make you some lemon tea, but I don't like you. You have a strong will. That must be what he sees in you. So let me get this straight. You're a vampire with a vampire stalker. Now that's a movie of the week I would watch. You're funny. He doesn't usually like funny. He likes pretty. I'm not afraid of you. Nor should you be. You think you know him, but you don't. You think you know what he is? You don't. You think he cares for you? That is none of your business. He does. But you can't forget. You're on the outside. You think you know him, but I made him. And your toy, I'd keep that down there if I were you. Mm. Gosh, this is swell. Why don't you hang out for a while? Sun's coming up. I have a great view. Well, I would take the fun out of everything. There's a little edge on top of your usual edge today. Found Alexander. Huh, it's a cutie. Alexander Demaray. He is a bit of a hottie, but it makes total sense. I mean, he's a male model in Montreal. Have a look. Oh, these were all taken at night. And look at his resume, check out his references. Anastasia, Christina's fashion photographer alias. So they work together. Do you think he's a vampire model? 
Well, that's one way of keeping your looks. All right, so she's not lying about Alexander, but she's lying about something. Looks like Henry's not the only one being all territorial. Would you just make some calls, see if his friends or his family knew why photographer and subject fell out? Sure. Mike, it's me. We gotta talk. Blood's drained. Extensive trauma to the throat. Poor things. They made a real mess of you, didn't they? Is there any way to tell if the attacker is male or female? Well, with a the blade, they say longer, deeper strokes favor a male assailant. But with this, there is one interesting difference, though I'm not sure it answers your question. What's that? Well, I see a real savagery to the wounds. Arteries cut in several places. But look at these marks here. Those are hesitation marks. Like he was unsure? I don't know that unsure is exactly the right word. More like incompetence. From everything you've told me, that doesn't sound like Christina. It doesn't sound like a crazed stalker either. Well, thanks, Doc. There's one more thing. There are fewer hesitation marks on these bodies compared to the first one. He's getting more confident? Means he's also getting more dangerous. Well, that's wonderful. That's great news. You as hungry as I am? God, I gotta get something to eat. Hey, hey, Dave. How's it going? Are you kidding? <laughs> Models of murder. I mean, it's like chocolate and peanut butter. Two favorite things all mixed together. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's a tragedy, of course. Yes, of course it is. You uh, dig up anything juicy? Uh, surprise, surprise. Models can be unstable. Who knew? Yeah, who knew? Uh, a few drunken disorderlies, four drug busts, domestic violence beef, woman on man, thrown cell phone. Naturally. Man, don't laugh. It hurts. Not nearly enough. Did you uh, come across a guy named Alexander Desmarais? No. He's out of Montreal. See what you can dig up on him, okay? I think he came across some info that says he might want a deeper look. Hey, um, if you could not solve this case before I interview a few more models, you know, could I do this? Yeah, I'll see what I can do, Dave. I thought you guys were focused on Christina. Yeah, she's still a person of interest. You haven't even interviewed her yet. Well, you know, I hear she's kind of difficult to get a hold of during the day. Look, Vicky, don't look at me like that, okay? How many actors, photographers, high-profile people like that get stalked every day? Uh-huh, and how many of them are vampires? Apparently more than you would think. So you're siding with Henry on this? Wow, what's next? Uh, uh, rain of frogs? A cloud of locusts? Look, I don't like having one bloodsucker in the city. You think I'm thrilled about having the unholy trinity? <sighs> in any case, that brooch left out in the open is an obvious setup, right? Yeah, okay. This is exactly what Henry was worried about, okay? This guy is using him to get at Christina, so there could be some serious fallout. You can't sneak up on me. I wouldn't even think of it. You miss me? How can I miss you when you won't go away? I love the theater. All those people, hearts beating together in the dark waiting for the show. You make it sound like a buffet. It's just so human. Opera never survived the switch to electric. Candlelight provided such. Mystery, yes. But if you go now, you won't start any fires. That was one time, and you had me so distracted. Would it kill you to smile? Poor distracted Henry. Wanna leg? Foreplay was always your forte. Century is strange. They're all in such a hurry. Yet they never seem to get where they're going. That's why I like the camera. We can freeze a moment forever. Like us. Don't tell me you still believe love conquers all. I believe it should. No matter what we are, what we've done. I was afraid you wouldn't help me. Not after Vienna. Don't remind me. 
You made sure I lost my lease, had me banned from the oldest philharmonic in the world. I had to get you out of town. Vienna wasn't big enough for the both of us. I got chased out of the city by the Bundesheer. Eighty years ago. Who remembers? Why is Alexander after you? You know what the young ones are like. All bravado and impulse. He's looking to make his mark. Take out an old one. Why you? It doesn't play by code, Henry. He wants to expose me, drag me into the light. You too. And Vicky, if he gets the chance. Oh, Henry. <laughs> That's rich. What? You haven't had her. Why didn't I see that before? Henry, don't be that way. Sometimes it's good to wait. <sighs> Say thank you. For what? I found one. A relative of Alexander's. She's been living here for two months. Well, what did she have to say? Miss Nelson? I'm sorry, she's a hugger. Vicky, meet Nicole Demeray, Alexander's sister. Miss Nelson, you have to help me. He goes missing, the police do nothing. And now they're calling and saying that he did these horrible things. Here, have a seat. Have a seat. Can you get her water? Sure. <sighs> when was the last time you had contact with him? Six months ago. Alexander's harmless. He's gentle and considerate. Our parents are dead. Since I was 15, he was the only one there for me. You have to help me find him. Of course. We'll see what we can do. Now, I need to know what he was doing before he disappeared. He met a woman about nine months ago. Said she was crazy about him. Said she was going to help him with his career. This is the most recent photo I have of him. I took it just before he disappeared. He was so happy and... This was taken six months ago? Nice sunset. Yeah, that's what I said. It doesn't matter. How can you say that? Christina's already lied to you. Okay, he wasn't a vampire six months ago. Okay, he hasn't been stalking her for a year. Why does he hate her? It's irrelevant. All right, then why does she need you? She's a big girl. You said she tried to kill you once. More than once. Right. But she can't handle a little baby vamp. He's smart. He doesn't go at her directly. He knows he's no match for her. He doesn't play by the rules. If he's trying to expose her, he can do that with any one of us. He's a menace. Shouldn't he be with his parent now? I mean, didn't you say they stick together for the first year? To some might come sooner, some later. Is it Christina? Did she turn him? No. That's ridiculous. How do you know that? Because you don't turn enemies. Only friends, lovers. If Christina turned Alexander six months ago, he wouldn't be stalking her. He'd be completely devoted to her. As devoted as you are? I don't think that's possible. We heard from Christina. She's got a midnight job, Massey Art Center. It's a couture shoot, but she could probably spare us a few minutes. That's very public. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is she trying to draw him out? Did cross my mind. Mike, are we missing something here? I mean, what, first he just dumps a body on Henry's doorstep, and now all of a sudden he's posing them? Does that add up? It's so easy for us to go from hunter to hunted. That is why you drink and resist the kill. Given into bloodlust. It's many a young one's undoing. You drink what you need, not all you can. Eat. You took sick in the woods, saw the wolf. Go home and sleep. People are so fragile. Easily manipulated and easily broken. Sometimes our power over them can be so intoxicating. But you can't... You've said all this before. Must you treat me like a simpleton? I'm of noble blood. Yes. Of course. And soon you'll leave me. Never. Yes. 
I'll make you. Alexander, show yourself. Show yourself. Hi. Hi. Thanks for staying late. No problem. I like it here at night. During the day, they don't let me get a word in edgewise. Listen, I have another one of my crazy hunches. Good. They're my favorite. You know how you said that the first body had more hesitation marks than the others? Yes. Is there anything else about it that was different? Good hunch. Meet Gabriel, our first victim. An interesting anomaly. There's two very small puncture wounds here. I don't know how I missed them the first time. Gabrielle has the same pattern of wounds on her neck, but on closer inspection, these are how she died. Her blood was completely drained. Very clean, very precise. She didn't bleed out through the neck? She didn't bleed out at all. She was drained completely. No fuss, no muss. So the killer was trying to make it seem messier than it actually was. As if they didn't know what they were doing. Yep. It was a mistake to have involved me. Chase me or save her. Your choice. You'll have to face me eventually. You can protect Christina or those close to you. You cannot do both. Just watch me. The photographer your brother is accused of stalking is having a photo shoot tonight. The police are fairly certain he's going to make an appearance. We have to go. No, wait. I don't care what the cops say. I know what my brother's capable of and what he isn't. In six months, everything can change. I think Alexander's gotten mixed up in something. Drugs? No. S something worse? Something different. I just think there's more to the story than anyone is telling us. No matter what, he's my brother. I know I can reach him. I can talk to him. I'm sure of it. I'll give it a try. So how long is this interview going to take? Oh, this shouldn't take long. Can you tell us what it was like working with Alex? He showed up on time. He had a good look. Boyish, but dangerous. Urban women are a sucker for that type. Don't I know it. I see. And your relationship with him? Before? He was gentle, sweet. I had high hopes for him. So when did things change? I was in New York. I had a small showing at a gallery in Chelsea. Alexander showed up and broke a plate glass window. Which gallery was that? A collective on West 22nd. P.S. I hate you. I'll check into that. Then he broke into my suite when I was on assignment in South Beach. He stole some equipment, some personal belongings. What kind of things did he steal? A watch, hairbrush, and my favorite brooch. So why you didn't file a restraining order? I mean, that's usually the first thing ladies do. Well, I don't have much faith in the police. And before I came here, he certainly hadn't killed anyone. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get models to work for me now. They're afraid of killer carbs, let alone stalkers, so... Are we done here? I won't take much longer. Just a few more questions. Don't you have enough? And you? Okay, we're done. Yes, thank you for your time. You know, uh, she's a little pale, but uh, damn. Uh,
Okay, Nicole, I want you to wait here. But I want to come inside. Listen. Hey, I let you come with me, but I will not let you get hurt. All right, I'll find your brother. You just wait here. You're thirsty. You need a water. And a cookie. I need five before finals. Stay close to you. Everybody, five minutes. She could use a cookie. For all their progress, their notions of beauty are barbaric. I don't like this. It's an expensive century, Henry. Girls gotta work. Alexander's strong and impulsive. There's no reason to. I already told you that. Let go. I don't like it when you lie. I don't know what you're talking about. He's on train. He has no idea what he's doing. Why would he fixate on you? I already told you I don't know. I chose to listen to the echo of feeling and the pounding of the blood in my head. Henry, let go. He's already been here. And he was close. How could he get so close without you sensing him? Because the bond between you two is still there. Your body doesn't consider him a threat. Because you're the one who turned him. Henry. No. Vicky was right. You cast him out into the world without showing him who he was. No wonder he hates you. It doesn't matter now. He's seen you with me. If he takes me out, where's he gonna go to next? To your apartment? To Vicky? You have to protect me because you're next. We've wasted enough time here. Can we get some lights, please? Federica, darling, I need you back here at once. Come on, guys, let's get some lights. Alexander, he put UV bulbs in the lights. Our hand. It's burned pretty bad. Yeah. <sighs> Get somewhere safe. I'm going after Alexander. Fine. Alexander? Alexander, let her go! This isn't you! No, you were never supposed to see! I can make her forget. She doesn't have to remember you like this. The last time you saw your brother, he said he would always be with you. You did not see him tonight. Now go. You try to run and I'll kill you. Then I'll go after her. No! Try me. You strayed into my territory. You threatened me and my associates. You brought attention that could expose me. I should kill you for any one of those things. How many have you killed in your time? To count would be sentimental. You're a monster. That's true. But I'm a monster who can control his needs. I'm not ruled by my passion or my hatred 
or my instinct alone. When you surrender, you surrender your humanity, not your conscience. Only then do you become a thing. You act like you can just shut it off, but you can't. There's no way to control it. You're wrong. Who are you to judge me? I'm the monster that's walking out of here. Before you look into the abyss, the abyss looks into you, Alexander. I want to know why. She said she would teach me. But then, my sister, I saw her neck. The blood beneath, I could hear it sing. How could I want to... My sister! Once you turn, your connection to everything is different. Christina would follow me up and down the streets of old Montreal. I couldn't get away from her. Everywhere I went, she was there. She poisoned me. She made me this devil. You didn't ask for this. What did she say to you? She said it would take away my doubt. But then everything was different. There was no love, no hope. There was only thirst. Don't tell me that you can control it. Don't tell me that because I will not be worse than you. Christina lives still. She does. It doesn't matter now. I just needed someone to know what she was, what she did to me. Yeah, deal. If you let me, I can teach you to come to peace with what you are. I hate what we are. And that hate is the last part of me that's left. There's only one thing I want from you. Set libre, no malo. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Got my bullets. Your sunburn's all better. I get it. Vampires are cool. And I'm still hungry. Too bad. Smorgasbord's closed. Your blood is pumping twice as fast as it was a second ago. Careful. You're becoming a tease. <laughs> well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? You got Henry all hot and bothered, so he'd do your dirty work for you. Why do I get the feeling you do that a lot? The model outside Henry's door. Alexander had nothing to do with it. That's an interesting theory. It's not a theory. She was drained like a pro. He just messed up her neck to make it look good. And why would I do a thing like that? Because it made Henry easier to manipulate. Alexander wasn't after Henry or any of us. He was after you. And you knew Henry would be terrified of a turf war. That's the difference between you and him. You think people are just a means to an end. I see you've got a new toy. Oh, the Illumination del Sol. You gonna use that on me? Drain my powers like that crazy old priest? Try me. You think you're fast enough to use that on me? That's just sad. <gasps> Does Henry know you have this? We share everything. You know what you don't understand. No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. One day... You're gonna beg him to turn you, so you can be like him, like me. It won't matter what happens next. Even if you lose him, you won't be able to help yourself. People are all the same. You're wrong! You broke the only code that matters. The one that keeps order. I left Alexander on the roof. In an hour, the sun will take his body, like you took his soul. 
Once again, I've cleaned up your mess. If I catch you in my territory again, I will kill you! You think you're the only one who felt the loss of us? To feel that again, I'd give anything. Alexander was... You can be 50 miles from here by sunrise. Get going. Is she really worth it, Henry? We'll see. I'm sorry. It's almost sunrise. I know. I'm going. The girl doesn't remember very much. I assume that's thanks to you. Believe me, Detective, it's better that way. I'm not so sure. These women, their families for the rest of their lives are going to think that killer is out there somewhere. Unpunished. He was punished. You killed him? You got off easy. I won't judge him. And you don't have the right. I reserve my sympathies for the people left behind like that girl over there. To her, her brother will always be a stalker, a killer. And she'll never know what happened or why. I don't expect you to understand about Christina. What? A relationship with a line is never clear. Some days you think you do anything just to get past it. And you know you never will. Yeah, you're right, Henry. How could I possibly be expected to understand that? Understand what? Mike? Understand what? You know, for somebody who used to be a cop, you make an enthusiastic break and enter person. Well, the guy who works here is a thief. I'm just doing my part to help catch him. Besides, the enemy guys take things. I'm leaving something behind. A rationalization? No. $200 of high-tech security equipment is not a rationalization. You're keeping an eye out, aren't you? There's two rats mating one floor down. Otherwise, we're alone. Wow. If you could work days, I wouldn't need the bugs. Vicky, I was wondering. What are you doing tomorrow night? Uh, I was going to type out the transcripts from the wiretaps. Why? I have a piece in a gallery show, and I was wondering if... A fine art show? The show's called Dark Visions. Every piece is inspired by the dark side of human nature. And you want me to accompany you? It's rare that I expose myself to the public in this way, and I wanted to share it with someone special. Well, um, yeah, of course, I'd be honored. We're just surprised that you don't want to take one of those, you know, artsy babes you usually like to chow down on. You're different. You'll give me an honest opinion. And I think you might have some interest in the subject of my painting. Well, an invitation and a mystery. How can I refuse that? Very well. A real date, huh? Did I mention there's somebody coming up the stairs? No. There's somebody coming up the stairs. Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah, you know what? Your, um, sentry skills leave a little bit to be desired. This is Maya. Inspire. Inspire. Maya, where the hell are you? You know, after what you laid on me last night, the least you could have done was show up when you said you would. <sighs> uh, I, I've got a gallery full of blank walls, a show opening tomorrow night, and no one to help me hang it. You know, only the barest optimism on my part made me dream that for once you might deign to keep a promise. <sighs> Honestly, it's obviously just not your strong suit, is it? Whoever you're with understands that. Oh, don't worry, what went up? Swinging friend. You didn't have to deal with Maya.
Hello? Oh, don't play games. I'm in no mood. Our little wiretap paid off. Turns out that guy was selling R&D to China, which is now how far he's gonna have to go to get a job. Are you okay? Yes. There's just been a little hiccup with the gallery opening tonight. Let me guess, you wanna take someone else? It's a little more complicated than that. The gallery owner went missing. Don't they usually do that after the show flops? His girlfriend Mai asked me to help find him. I naturally thought of you. Naturally. She's a talented artist and a sweet girl. Loyal, loving. Is this an introduction or a sales pitch? She's a good friend. I hate to see her worried like this. All right, bring a little girlfriend down here. I'll talk to her. I knew you'd take it on. Maya? You're the private eye? Yeah, Vicki Nelson. Oh, nice ink. Hmm. You too? The motif's an original. Is that a Bartani? Uh, no, it's, um, Astaroth. I thought I knew all the body artists in town. Must be new. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, tell me about your boyfriend. Jude was supposed to be hanging the show, but he disappeared. No message? No idea where he went? <sighs> Jude likes to stage these little tantrums from time to time. Ah, oh, you mean he bails when you fight? Yes. And he left me a nasty message yesterday afternoon when I didn't show up to help. But he'd never leave so close to an opening. Well, Jude was colorful, but he's not insane. Uh, so where were you yesterday? Why weren't you helping hang the show? Uh, I was out living life, opening myself up to the universe, uh, seeking inspiration. Okay, um, here's what I can do. Jude really hasn't been missing that long, so the best I can do at this point is call a few hotels, see if he's hiding out anywhere, and uh, when I come to the gallery tonight, I'll ask his friends, see if they know anything. Just like Jude, isn't it? So selfish. Thank you. Sweet. Loving. Loyal. She's... I have to help open the gallery. Corrine! Okay, so, um, you know, get out there, work the crowd, see if anyone knows where Jew's hiding. I love this. I love hanging out with artists. Well, that's good. That makes one of us. Okay, go, go, go. Be um, okay. pretentious or whatever it is that they do. What in the Henry? I Chihuahua. That one's mine, so don't get any ideas. Uh, Fitzroy's don't come in the market very often. Thank you. To get these, you have to be quick. All the sculptors have hollow legs. <laughs> Those crazy sculptors. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you're the inspiration. How delightful. Yeah. Fitzroy really does bridge the gap between illustration and fine art, doesn't he? Yes, Henry bridges a lot of gaps. I'm kind of a patron of this little gallery. When it comes to scraping the zeitgeist and wringing out the juice, no one has a better eye than Jude. Speaking of Jude, I would love to congratulate him. Actually, I don't think we'll be seeing him tonight. The usual fireworks, I'm afraid. Jude and Maya. Another rough patch, huh? There's not much left to patch. I hear Maya's about ready to close the Jude show and uh, mount something new. Do tell. Um, how do you like the show? It's okay. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about the dark. But some of this stuff is just, it's trying too hard. You know, look at me, I'm dark, I'm depressed, I'm gonna cut my ear off. 
But this piece, this piece rocks. I love the dichotomy. Pastoral landscape, the hint of violence in the window. Can't help but be drawn to it. Well, that's cool. Really, why? No way, really? This is your piece? Yeah. So you, you really love it? You do? Thank you. Oh, it's cold. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Man, it's kind of creepy how he's all like, pose like that. You getting ideas for your Christmas cards? No, you might fit on top of the tree. Hold up. Are we getting lucky today, baby? Man's got a wallet. All right, let's take a look at this. OK, we have a winner, Jude Marston's. Good evening, ladies. It's a pleasure to see you. Thanks. Thank you. What? You're wearing a dress. Yes, I know, and I'm ready for the jokes. Come on. Say what you have to say. You're beautiful. I think you should just stick to the jokes. So what did you find out? Um, Jude's friends, they fall into two categories. Maya haters who think she's arrogant and bossy, and the ones who think the sun shines out of her. Assertive is the term her friends use. Maya has her moments. All right, so tell me, what is it between the two of you? We're friends. We met at a show a couple of months ago. I enjoy her vision and her work. Friends? Oh, come on, she's a little young for me, don't you think? Isn't everybody? By the way, I think you owe me a little commission over there. Oh, did I at least get the gun right? You know I prefer Berettas. Well, Missy, what did you find out? Tyrone's a Leo, Jupiter rising. He's been painting since he was 12. This is his first show, and he's allergic to these down. Oh. Did you find anything out about Jude? Oh, right. Tyrone said Jude's got it rough. Yes, Maya's high maintenance. Yeah. Maya sees and experiences the world directly. It's part of her process not to censor herself. It's admirable, not odd. Oh, what did you say, Annie? Oh, there's Maya right now not censoring herself. She looks awful broken up about Jude's disappearance. Excuse me. Just friends. Right. Mm. I think that's the same mark Maya has tattooed on her arm. It must be a signature type thing. It's very artsy. Hmm. I'm gonna go grab my camera from the coat check. Was Jude Marston ever a painter himself? I don't know. Why? Detective Mike Salucci. He was. I think the price of his work just went up. So what can you tell me about Jude's movements on that last day? We didn't see each other all day. I assumed he got caught up in the show. People say that you, um, you fought that night. Yes, we fought. Yes, we did it a lot. We're passionate people. And I didn't kill him, and I don't know who did. All right. I may have more questions for you, so don't go too far. Is it too much to ask for you to be a little more humane? Oh, I'm sorry. Only humans get to ask for humane. <sighs> you have to help me prove she's innocent. I will help you find Jude Marson's killer. And that is as much as I can promise. Thanks, Doc. By the way, Captain Midnight is way out of line. Keep him on a short leash, OK? Was a lot of testosterone. So you have anything juicy for me? Mm-hmm. Plenty. He drowned. They found him in a vacant lot. Oh, I didn't say anything about water. It's paint. You found paint in his lungs? Mm-hmm. 
Oil paint. His lungs are filled with it. It must have been quite unpleasant. How did it get there? Did they put a tube down his throat? Oh, they'd be bruising around the tracheo palate. Did they make him swallow it? No sign of paint on the teeth, gums, mandible, maxilla, or eustachian tube. The way the paint beaded, it, it appears to have come from within. How does that even happen? I don't know. It's impossible. Isn't that grand? Thanks for helping me do this. I don't mind. It's a tough time. You could use the help. Is there anything you didn't tell the police? I did talk to June earlier. Right here. We fought. Was it a normal fight? No. Worse. He found out I was having an affair. He went ballistic. We broke up, but I said I'd come back and help hang the show anyway. You will not remember this conversation. You will be calm, and you will believe that everything will be all right. Uh, you might as well help me finish this wine. I'm good. Paint in his lungs. No idea how it got there. That's odd. You're really learning to work the understatement, Henry. Hey, did Maya ever dabble in witchcraft? Not that I know of. Just wondering about those symbols she signs her paintings with, the one she has tattooed on her arm. Merely an artistic conceit. Like that singer. Or did he go back to his real name? Come on, Henry. We both know symbols can channel power. They can be very dangerous in the wrong hands. If she's dabbling in something she doesn't understand... I interrogated her. She's not involved. So what, that's it? No more investigation? Not of Maya. Jude must have had his own enemies. Hmm. Well, according to the people at the gallery, it was Maya. She was having a few, um, indiscretions. So? If she was having an affair, she would tell you, right? Did she tell you? Yes. And no? Well, it's obvious you're protecting her from something. I guess the question is what? I was emotionally committed to Jude. Translation, I saw other people. All right, I'm gonna need a list of names. This is completely irrelevant. You try and hide this kind of thing from the police, it will come back and bite you on the ass, I guarantee it. And they, they will not be as nice as I am. <laughs> this is nice. Hello. I wanted to pay for my paintings. Hope now's okay. Perfect timing, Angus, darling. It's nice to see a friendly face. I have to run a business. Could we please talk later? Uh, hello again. I look forward to uh, mailing you to my wall. Gonna need a bigger hammer. No, I don't care what Henry says. Maya's lying. She knows something about Jude's murder. You know who you should ask? Tyrone. He's known her since she was still Enid Wyman. I bet she's a full-blown witch. I mean, everyone that Henry is involved in, they just love the black magic. I do not love the black magic. Well, it loves you. Listen, if he asks about me, just play it cool, okay? Thank you for helping me take my mind off my grief. I want you to know I'm here for you. And maybe, well, perhaps in the future we could... Could we not talk about this? It's just that uh, now that you're free... You know how it was with Jude. My heart is broken right now. Oh, I dug that, love. Beneath that smoking exterior, you're as cold as ice. When I get out of the shower, I'd like for you to be gone. You can leave a check on the bar. It's open. Hi. I'm Vicki Nelson. I think Corrine said I was going to come by, the investigator. Oh, hey. Hey, am I interrupting anything? Nope. Uh, no, we got to cover it. 
you know, or else the dust gets in the wet paint. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Korean, she works for you? Yeah, yeah, she's my right hand. Uh, she said you knew Enid, uh, Maya. Yeah, well, I know Enid better than I knew Maya, that's for sure. Listen, I kind of suck at small talk, so I'll just cut to the chase. I need to know if you know whether or not Maya was stepping out on Jude. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Angus Stratham's been sniffing around for months. I mean, why do you think he's buying all those paintings? Oh, uh, of course. Can I, um... No! Uh, I'm just not comfortable showing it yet. Just the peak? No, leave it. it. Seriously, it's not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> Hey, listen, um, I was thinking of getting tickets for the Warhol show. Do you know how Kareem feels about Warhol? I, uh, have no idea. But here's my card. Number's at the bottom. She answers the phone, so you can ask her yourself, Picasso. Thanks for the info. Thank you. I'll let you get back to it. Gunshots, knife wounds, probably suffocation, just like the last one. Body's still relatively warm. But the mortise isn't set in. No, this guy's been dead less than four hours. No wallet this time, either. Can't win them all, right? Yeah. So what would the witness have to say? Uh, the body appeared between 2.45 and 3 o'clock. It's a pretty narrow window. She sure about the time? She was racing home to watch her stories. It's 4 o'clock now. I put uh, time of death, let's say, noon. Could have been a lover's quarrel. Yeah, lipstick, I saw that. <laughs> Skyrocketing flight, baby, you know what I'm saying? I mean, little noon had never hurt anybody. <laughs> Except maybe, maybe him. <sighs> OK, so we got two dead bodies in a chair in the same empty parking lot. Yeah, what do you want to bet? These guys are unrelated, huh? No, I ain't taking that action, baby. <laughs> no, get it. What the hell is he supposed to be looking at anyway? <sighs> All right. From here to Jude Marsden's gallery, it's, what, 20, 30 minutes tops, depending on traffic? It's plenty of time for the body to get here. You know what I'm saying? Middle of the day, though? I mean, that's pretty ballsy. Yes, it is. <sighs> All right, let's see where the corner's at. Here's a nice one. If you brand this symbol into the forehead of your enemy, he will be dead within a week. Nice. This deadly talisman? Yeah, well, talismans don't kill people. People kill people. Here it is. I knew I'd seen it before. That is it. See, the symbol for protection from evil. Specifically protection from demons. Well, thank you very much, Corwin's Demonology. Where do you get all this stuff, anyway? Used bookstores, internet, yard sales. So listen, if you don't need anything else here... Oh! You got plans. Yeah. Go. Get out. Thank you. <sighs> it's nice that everyone else has plans.
the name Angus Stratham mean anything to you? Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a patron of Maya's. He bought three pieces at the opening. Hmm. Anything else? No, I'm pretty sure they're having an affair. We'll be able to prove it soon enough. He's dead? Body found in the same vacant lot as Jude Marston's. Lungs filled with paint. The last time his assistant saw him alive, he was heading over to the gallery to, um, finalize a deal. I know. I was there. Really? Well, that makes you the second last person to see him alive. Maya being the last. She's looking more hanky by the minute. Listen to this. Six years ago, Maya, a.k.a. Enid Wyman, stabbed her boyfriend with a palette knife. She uh, insisted that it was just performance art. Boyfriend didn't even press charges. Well, what about the paint in the lungs? Oh, well, the way I see it, it's her signature. Just another creative act of violence turns people into artistic statements. Oh, she'd have to be pretty messed up to do that. Selfish to the point of sociopathic. Henry says she's innocent. What do you think? I don't know. At this point, I have enough to bring her in for questioning, but um, I might need your help with this one. Henry? Yeah. If he's protecting her, who knows what he'll do? Well, Vicki Nelson, vampire wrangler at your service. Who's this one? One of my mother's first boyfriends. I can't even remember his name. I think it was Reinhold. No. Henrik. Harold. Uh, this picture's called Mother. Is that your mother? She was beautiful. You would have liked her, Henry. She was a great artist. Like mother, like daughter. I'm a complete clone. The art. The bad relationship choices. Well, at least unlike mom, none of my boyfriends ever hit me without my consent. Where did that come from? It's a dream that I've had ever since I was an infant. My mother is with this man and they're happy and laughing. And then in the blink of an eye, he becomes this thing. All claws and fangs. And he devours her. And as he's devouring her, he looks up. He sees me. And he smiles. Sounds like a monster. No. Those boyfriends came afterwards. Actually, I think I loved him. <laughs> it's pretty screwed up, huh? Welcome to the club. Her cheeks are too flush. I'm sorry for everything you went through. Why are you sorry? It's not your fault. Maya, no. I thought you wanted this. We shouldn't. Well, we can do whatever you want. You don't want me. You don't think of me that way. N no, Henry, I, uh, I can't. I, I uh, don't even think of you that way. I understand. Detective Fitzroy, Ms. Wyman. That's not my name. You can call yourself whatever you want. I still want you to come downtown and answer some questions about the murders of Jude Marsden's and Angus Stratham. Angus is dead? No, we can do this the easy way. You can come with me now, or I can go about getting a warrant. It's your choice. She's telling the truth. She doesn't know. I can deal with it myself. You're making a grave mistake. Remove your hand. Our oh, mind. Henry, it's just questions. I've been on the wrong side of his questions before. Let's go. She's innocent. I can sense it. That's not good enough anymore. She's going to have to prove it. Fine.
That was wonderful. <laughs> That's not what Franklin would have said. Who's Franklin? Edward Franklin. He was a local painter. He's a bit of a muse, actually. But his take was that food is necessary, but a distraction. I've never heard of him. No one has. He died penniless and alone and unknown. I got some of this stuff from a yard sale his relatives had. Aren't muses supposed to inspire? Well, he does. I mean, he sacrificed everything. I mean, his, his land, his family, eventually his life, like everything to pursue his dream. I mean, it's all in this artist manifesto. True creativity cannot exist without sacrifice. I'd love to see his work. Is that it? Mm. Wait, uh, it's a really fragile piece. I'd like to keep it covered a bit longer. But um, I can show it to you next time you come over. There are other ways to ensure a second date, you know. There were two bodies, don't you? There has to be some evidence. Henry, that is evidence. Put it down. <laughs> this is no time for humor. What is it with this girl? What is so special? Is she that tasty? It's not like that. I knew Maya's mother. I cared for her. I cared for Maya. So what, you guys were like a little family? Perhaps the closest thing I've known to one. But when I revealed my true nature to her mother, she panicked. She thought I might hurt her, hurt Maya. Oh. I could never. That explains the demon off tattoos. She couldn't get past believing that I was evil. She did everything she could think of to make sure I didn't come back into their lives. And you didn't see Maya again until now? Maya was an amazing child. She had such a special energy. So pure, so alive. Things change. People get broken. She's the same person I knew. She just needs a little help. It wasn't your fault, Henry. Sometimes people can't be fixed. There's got to be something here. Both bodies were dumped here. The location has to be significant. Here it is, 596 Hammond. It's at the end of a dead-end street. Currently run by development company Chartwood Properties. They've had it for about 10 years. What about before that? OK, that's weird. Hmm? What's weird? The property is owned by an Edward Franklin. Tyrone talked about a painter by that name all night. He said Edward Franklin was his muse. It's a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. All right, let's try this one more time. Last time you saw Angus Stratham. Do you paint, detective? No, no, I don't. I just um, arrest people that avoid answering questions. That's what I do. Mm. Well, I don't know who killed Angus, and I don't know who killed Jude. I see. You have a lot of anger towards men, don't you, Liam? I love men. No, you have sex with men. But it doesn't take a lot of analysis to see in your paintings that um, you have some issues. If I want to kill someone, I'll do it with a brush. We all have our own ways of coping, detective. What's yours? I found Edward Franklin. Want to hear his obituary? And I quote, Edward Franklin died September 2nd, 1992, survived by niece, Rachel Franklin Phillips. End quote. That's it. That's kind of sad. Yeah. I spoke to the niece. She said he was weird and just got weirder as he got older. He ended up hanging himself. Tyrone said he had some kind of manifesto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she sent it over. Listen to this. Art without passion is nothing more than noise for the eyes. If your hand does not serve art, cut it off. 
The flesh must be subject to the idea, blah, blah, 70 pages of hardcore whack job. All that verbiage and he leaves behind a, a blank canvas as a suicide note. It's weird. I mean, there's so little out there, yet Tyrone talks about Franklin like he's known him his whole life. Yeah, and he couldn't have been more than a kid when he killed himself. What, did he have his journal or something? I know he has one of Franklin's paintings. No, that's impossible. And he said he destroyed all of them. The only thing he left behind was a blank canvas. Well, maybe he left this one behind before he died. Okay, this is gonna sound weird. Great. Tyrone said that Franklin was obsessed, right? Sacrificed himself for his art. I've been thinking. We're looking at two murders where both of the victims were snatched without anyone seeing anything, right? And then both of the bodies turn up and they somehow got paint injected directly into their lungs and there's no way of telling how they did it. And then to top it off, the bodies are discovered posed in a vacant lot previously owned by our obsessed painter. When you put it that way, it does sound a bit fishy. What if his sacrifice didn't go unnoticed? What if he has something to do with this? What, like his ghost? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, all that passion, all that obsession and madness, what if it somehow it got him stuck here? You know, and he transferred it into that blank canvas. That would mean that Tyrone is- No, Corrine. He could be in danger. Look, if Tyrone has that canvas and he hasn't been harmed, you gotta ask yourself why. He's not a bad guy. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. Wouldn't you like to find out for sure? It's open. Kareem, hi. Thought you might want some lunch. Did I catch you at a bad time? I'm in the middle of a session. Oh, I've broken your concentration, haven't I? That's OK. Well, lunch is served. Let's get some plates. Sure. Uh, no, nothing. Something fell. You know what? Sometimes my enthusiasm gets the better of me. I just noticed the time, and if I don't get back to the office in 50 minutes, I am dead. Uh, what about lunch? Brain check, okay? Sure. She couldn't be trusted. I warned you about succumbing to distraction. I sacrificed everything for my art. What are you willing to sacrifice? We know Tyrone's definitely innocent, right? Definitely, maybe. You saw the painting, you said it was just a bad still life. Mm-hmm, yeah, it was real gas station art gallery stuff. What, are you a qualified art critic now, or is it a rule to dump on the whole creative community? Hey, listen, I'm trying to prove your little girlfriend's innocent here, okay? You know what, um, I think Henry and I should go talk to the niece again. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just hang tight, I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay, so we're not going to visit the niece. Why was it so important we get out of there? Well, I was looking at Franklin's manifesto while we were talking, and it hit me. 
The only true art is the human portrait. The face is pure reflection of the soul. Do you think the guy that wrote this ever painted a still life? I think I know where you're keeping Corrine in the dark. Her boyfriend's hiding something. You think? Anything? Tyrone's not here. Okay. Did you find anything? These all seem relatively new. I'm not exactly sure what a haunted canvas is supposed to look like. Better safe than sorry. Henry? What'd you find? This was beside his phone. We gotta get back to the office. Green, I brought you something. Hi, Rome, what are you doing here? I hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you. It's you have to unwrap it, silly. You need to learn how to appreciate art. No! Nope. What are you doing? You're your friend. You threatened him. You, you threatened what he's trying to do. And, and I, I know it's just because you don't you don't understand. She just needs to learn to absorb the image. Just let the colors wash over you. Let it, let it sink in. <laughs> Sorry, Corrine, this is the only way. You are a distraction. Corrine! See, destroying art is a crime. I think it's time to make an exception. If it feels as though the world is standing still. 